Hello, I'm Matthew Banks, a consultant gastroenterologist at University College London Hospitals. And we have talked to you briefly about gastric cancer, which sadly causes nearly 5,000 deaths a year in the UK. And unfortunately, the survival rate is still under 20%. Now, early detection of gastric cancer is the key to better outcomes and also to improving the sad high miss rate of nearly 10%. Now most patients with gastric cancer have a condition called chronic atrophic gastritis. Therefore making the endoscopic diagnosis of chronic atrophic gastritis is the first step towards an early diagnosis of gastric cancer and reducing the miss rates. Now the features of chronic atrophic gastritis can be seen endoscopically in the first slide. There are four of them. The first is pallor, the second is loss of gastric folds. The third are prominent vessels within the gastric wall. And the fourth is an atrophic border, the border between the normal and abnormal mucosa. In slide B, on a magnified view, you can see the villous architecture of gastric intestinal metaplasia with the groove pattern, and also the light blue crest sign, which is where the light reflects off the microvilli. Now, the detection and management of, gas, of uh, chronic atrophic gastritis can be found in two sets of recent guidelines. The first are the MAPS guidelines from Europe, and the second are the recent BSG guidelines. The references can be seen here. Now, chronic atrophic gastritis will be covered in London Live Endoscopy in November, so I encourage you to register soon.